The September numbers just came in from my local board. I'm going to tell you about it starting right now. Hey, it's Andrew Shackleton, Kitchener Waterloo real estate broker through at home.com. So Waterloo Region Association of Realtors just put out the September uh, press release for market activity and it's been quiet. I got to say that it's been more or less a continuation of the activity we saw in July and August. Not terrible, but not at the kind of record setting pace we saw a couple years ago. Compared to the 10 year average, uh, sales volumes were down substantially. One thing surprising though is prices have held up remarkably well and compared to last year, we're at par or actually higher than we were uh, same time September last year. Uh, detached properties in Waterloo Region came in at uh, 876,000. We had 298 units change hands. That's up 2% year over year. Looking at semis, much smaller market segment. We only had 32 of them change hands uh, last month. And prices came in roughly $673,000. That's up a little bit. That's up 5% compared to last year this time. Uh, and like I said, you know, things have at least been flat or slightly higher. Looking at, uh, looking at townhouses. Townhouses, there was a lot more of them sold. We had 121 change hands. They're flat compared to last year. Price is really unchanged compared to last September. Uh, average price for a town, 640 grand in the region. And then lastly, I'm going to finish up with apartment style condos. Apartment style condos are actually up 10% compared to last year. We're coming in right at 500 grand and 67 units changed hands last month. Now, talking about what's going to happen going forward. Well, we're into the, the second busy season of our market here in Kitchener-Waterloo. You've got the busy spring and then usually the fall is busy as well. And this fall so far, we haven't seen that normal, uh, super busy market activity that we see. And I think a lot of that's got to do with interest rates. And I think that's also why we've got so many listings now on market. No question uh, the higher rates are hurting, you know, smaller investors, larger investors, and, you know, even some people, just regular homeowners that maybe got themselves over leveraged. I think a lot of those folks are actually putting their properties up for sale and that's why we're seeing this uh, you know, increase in listings. Uh, compared to last year, we had roughly a thousand listings, give or take, and now we've got 1450. So we're up 50% on listings volumes. That's great news for buyers, no question about it. It's been absolutely brutal for the last eight or nine years if you're a buyer. And now with market conditions turning, we've got a bit of relief, no question about that. Uh, going forward, this month, this October, near the end of the month, I think it's the 26th if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, Bank of Canada, they're doing their, their rate announcement. Definitely not gonna go down. It is possible they'll stay, they'll stay flat or maybe we'll see another 25 uh, basis points increase. I don't know, but e either way, that's gonna continue putting a dampening effect on the market, no question about it. So I think the softness we've seen is gonna continue. Um, obviously though, people are still buying and selling properties. We had 500 properties change hands in the months of September. And I think that's gonna continue as well into, the, into the, the fall as well. But if you're a buyer and you're looking for bargains, this is where you might find them, no question about it. Anyways, that's all I got for you today. Thanks so much for watching and have yourself a fantastic day.